this episode of Men of Prestige. Remember, if the phrase exists, it becomes real, right? But this is what it looks like. You got with somebody, you started sleeping with each other. You're emotionally entangled up with each other, right? So you can't stop thinking about her. If you've ever found yourself in a place where you can't stop thinking about her, you may say, no, but I wasn't in love. I just, it was just my brain working. Well, yes, it was always the brain, the mind, the heart that was working, right? But these things are real, okay? So when I see people that are actively trying to argue against things like soul ties, I'm like, you know, uh, in Nigeria, which is my heritage, where I'm from, right? My family is from, right? People also try to, um, you know, people also try to discount things like witchcraft and all. Like, listen, the mind is a huge organ. Like this, like you can make 100 million. Do soul ties affect men? Five questions answered. And we're also going to talk about serial dating a little bit. Okay. Probably we'll do another video entirely on serial dating later. But do soul ties affect men? Do you believe in soulmates, right? Do you think that everyone has one person who they are meant to be with for the rest of their lives, right? Well, that's a different topic. That's the one I have to do another video entirely on one I right? But um, do soul ties, uh, what is soul ties? Let's first of all dig a little bit deeper into this, right? All right. Uh, there are many people in our society today who have a strong conviction about the existence of soul ties which can affect men as well okay the idea behind a soul tie is that when two people meet an invisible cord begins to tie the two of them together all right so this is the part that a lot of people don't want to talk about <laughs> okay gentlemen okay they are less emotional Men, women are more emotional, all this talking points, right? I beg to differ, okay? It, human beings are emotional, okay? Now, in terms of expressing it, that's a different topic together. Then, in terms of expressing it in a healthy way, that's a different thing altogether again. Because some people express it, and because expressing it in a toxic masculine way, yeah, toxic masculinity is a real thing. If somebody has used the phrase, it becomes real. That's common sense. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Common sense is a terrible guide to romance and relationships. Okay. But I'm sharing that with you right now. If somebody has used the phrase, it becomes real. That's all that needs to happen. Somebody used the phrase. That means that person is referencing something. It may not fit your dictionary meaning right now. I get it. It doesn't fit your dictionary meaning right now. But also, Men of prestige understand that there are deeper meanings but beyond dictionary meanings. And if you get stuck on the dictionary meanings, you're going to suffer. Because why? Because you're dealing with other people. It's not about you. It's about people, right? It's about other people. It's about learning how. To, it's about social intelligence. Understanding that people change meanings of words sometimes to take ownership of the word. Sometimes to create a slang. Some, sometimes because of their outlook on life, right? Uh, and sometimes... For the most part, is usually if you have easy what I'm saying right now is because you have a blind spot and you are stuck in your ways of seeing things, and this is a direct cause of suffering, especially when it comes to romance and relationships. So, with that being said, do soul ties exist? Remember, if the phrase exists, it becomes real, right? But this is what it looks like. You got with somebody, you started sleeping with each other. You're emotionally entangled up with each other, right? So you can't stop thinking about her. If you've ever found yourself in a place where you can't stop thinking about her, you may say, no, but I wasn't in love. I just, it was just my brain working. Well, yes, it was always the brain, the mind, the heart that was working, right? But these things are real, okay? So when I see people that are actively trying to argue against things like soul ties, I'm like, you know, uh, in Nigeria, which is my heritage where i'm from right my family is from right people also try to um you know people also try to discount things like witchcraft and all like listen the mind is a huge organ like this like you can make 100 movies in the mind and it can be real it can make the mind shut down people can have emotional breakdown 
and you sit down there and you're arguing if it's witchcraft or not, right? No, you're right that it's not real physically, but you also know that our existence is not limited to physical experiences. People sleep at night and have a nightmare that absolutely affects them when they wake up. It doesn't mean that that thing that happened in the dream was actually real, but it affected them for real in real life, right? So yes, absolutely, soul ties do exist in humans and not just women only, men. Men can get stuck on the same woman over and over and keep going back to her for toxic reasons. In psychology, sometimes they call that attachment and there are attachment theories out there and they are real. Let me tell you how real they can get. You could just read a book, a little article, and it becomes real. You start looking around with fear. You start watching around with fear that maybe this is maybe maybe this is where. See the fact that you're doing that. Maybe 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 that's real. Okay, maybe not you. You're so strong. You're masculine alpha male, right? You don't think that way. But there are people in your life that think this way, and they can pick up the phone and call you because they're in some kind of trouble. That's as real as it gets. Can that shake up your world? Absolutely. It could be somebody you care that you absolutely care about. So, man of prestige, let's be aware when we're thinking these things through. Make sure you're assessing every variable involved. Question number five that we've answered, do soul ties affect men? Yes. Question number four, what is a soul tie? Anything that makes you emotionally entangled up with another person after engaging them from a romantic standpoint, sex or otherwise, yes, that will be your soul tie. If you can't break loose easily, if you start to wonder 10 years down the line that maybe because I got with her, maybe that's why all my relationships are getting messed up. Does that happen for real? Yes. When a woman breaks up with you, right? In your senior year in high school or junior year in high school and 10 years down the line your outlook on every woman you see is that they're all for the street and they don't know how to think and they should be held accountable that's so ties the whole red pill community not the philosophy the community is a freaking so tie is this starting to make sense to you or you're kicking against you like nah he's full of shit. well the fact that you felt that way tells me a lot that it is in fact a soul tie. Question number three, do men have the same emotional needs as women? No, men or women are not equal. Equality is not relevant. Men or women are simply different in so many ways. Part of it is social construct, part of it is a society, part of it is biology, and is a lot more, okay? So that's a question we can answer at a later time. Now, in terms of emotional need, how soul ties plays out in a man? Yes, it's different from a woman because of the previous reason, because we're kind of different. Question number one, do soul ties affect serial dating and relationships in general? So if you're dating serially, you're jumping from one girl to another. Yes, it can affect you, right? A lot of that, it's like 2000 signals that goes into that. A lot of that is your personality. Certain personalities, it's not that deep for them. And we can't discount that either. Okay, some people know it's not that deep. After they slept with 10, 20 people, no, they're not thinking about any one of them. The key thing is to be self-aware and to see if you fall in either of those categories and just know that this thing is real, it can be real for you, for certain type of personalities and temperaments. No, it's not that deep. 